Chapter 10. Can you hear it? The three children ran for the, from the four door and then flung open the seat of the station car was rolling backward under the rest of the Polar Express. The conductor and the yells and the kids were, were carting the distance and no one saw the car leaving. They were picking up the speed uh, and the three dashed into the car, into the rear uh, platform. Uh, which uh, is the, the front of the car, which was uh, the runaway was rolling in front of the center of the street on the tracks, moving on even faster than uh, now. They rumbled uh, around a turn. Ahead, there was a fork with a secret into it with a gentle upward of the incline. There was a little to the left, the steep drop of the tracks ran by the by the right up of the incline. We're gonna be okay, yelled the boy, with the, the gusts of wind howled through the street. It blew off of the cobblestones, which valings the truck and with a set of the tracks and heading towards the left downhill. Hold on, the boy hollered. And the three f friends, you know, grabbed into the railing of the opposition car, hit the switch at the back, and landed lurched violently into the left. And they were dreaded down for to the violet to the left. They were huddled down to the drop, and it was a nasty one. And runaway car, the screen through the empty streets. Speeding it down the steep hills, the car hit the bottom of a hill and rocketed down a long, narrow street ahead with the tunnel that was built against the, into the wall of the factory building. Oh, said the girl. Wait, the emergency brake, said the boy, remembering he ran and pulled it. And nothing happened. It doesn't work, he cried. At the instant, the car flew into t the tunnel, and at the power was cut off. And then the boy saw the king himself upside down. He saw a car, a car using the tin cup. He banged it on the window, and he was pointing towards the front platform and he had was mouthing the words a break kid take a break the boy ran out of the platform and it was the hobo once again banging his cup uh, on the wrecking the mineral brake wheel the mountain did by the side of the car the boy grabbed the wheel and it was lit by the sparks and all he had scree the brake the shoe began to grab, and oh, the car slowed, but not to grab. The car station car slowed, but not enough. There was not a bright light outside, and the car was heading towards uh, towards them. The boy stared uh, at the light they closed in. But when they, they saw looming across the head and an enormous red door her car bumper and with a great flashing little red light on top on uh, the boy decided it was time to just drive inside the car and with the crash it, the car jolted into a stop the kids were thrown into the floor outside everything was uh, spinning the boy tried to, to stand uh, but he lost his balance and fell against, and fell against the seat generally he realized that that, 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 that it was just an organization car itself and then it was spinning it's spinning around the, the, the three kids who were able to unable to stand up they stumbled dizzily on the car Looking around, they found themselves a, a car looking around. They found themselves in the immense or round space. 
enclosed by a huge glass paint painted dome like a greenhouse f for giants women's garlands and twinkling christmas lights hung everywhere it was awesome at the center around the space was a turnable which is the reverse train cars the other station car was the car sat in the middle of the relation called turnable turnable it's rear coupler wedged firmly against the bumper of the train car slowly the turnable came to a stop 